Right, motherfucker. Traffic is crazy this morning. Yeah, right. Right, I can barely walk. Dude. Still? Dude, I mean, now it's just like a good stiffness, but yesterday, like coming downstairs, mm -hmm. it's brutal. My chest is still sore. The whole mm -hmm. thing. I'm mm -hmm. fucked up. See, this what happens when you get fucked up in the game. I am fucked up. You're 47 years old and you've never used any of these muscles. I'm died. <laughs> and You're still sore. Four days later, four or five days later. I'm so sore. You have no idea. It was like painful. Like I thought I was getting sick because oh, I was so God. sore. You're like, like, is this Corona or my? Oh look, you're getting better at getting off the bench. Yeah, look. It worked. <laughs> look, at the, look at those gains. Yeah. You, know, you got right off that. that my dude. nickname, Ernia. You're fucking. <laughs> Well, that counts as a crunch. No, but people think that Jay's also like, they're like, oh, Jay's gotta be stronger than all of you. It's like, come on guys, relax. I am. Now it's lit. Let's have a person talk. Now it's lit. Let's see who throws people the farthest. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about who's stronger. Yeah, definitely go <laughs> this, when I was lifting every day. Yeah, but that's because you were weak. This was my max. That that's means fine. for years, you lifted like a bitch. That's we got you. We got you. Let yeah. it go. That shit was then. Yeah. This is something different. Yeah. Well, wait, yeah. Would, you, would you look at me? Would you, would you look at me? This is only 135 pounds. Yeah. Dog, 135. That's, 135. that's Brandy weighs less yeah. than that. You can't press her. <laughs> You're in, you're, you're, right you're, in, now, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble then. This is why I'm here. <laughs> this is a warm up. Yeah, this is just the warm ups. Like. If you, so you're telling me because of, because of your past, because of what you did in your past, that is gonna have some sort of dictation on what you can do in your future? Is that what you're trying to tell me here? Is this a teaching you. lesson that I get to go into right now? I pull out my metaphysical shit. I'm just telling you. Get it, get it. Push it. <laughs> Yeah, the camera's on you. The rest. They didn't see what I just put up before this. It's so true. To see right now. 15 pounds less than this 25. You're watching, Arn. Come yeah. on, this is yeah. so fucked <laughs> <laughs> We'll get the 15s out. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, Alex, you got those pink weights still? Day three, day three you know. Day three. Mm -hmm. I'm out here. I don't want to take the shirt off right now because you know. Because you're too sore to lift your arms. Probably. <laughs> tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Legs. Again? Yes. Dude, that's how this. I just thought. Upper, lower, Look, break, every, upper, it. lower. Listen, 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 but. Yep. Yeah, what do you want to do? You want to do some curls? Is that right there? You want to do four curls? It's going to make you feel more strong? No, we'll do some pull-ups. Oh, okay. Right. This is not a pull-up, by the way. This is a chin-up. Yeah. yeah. Chin-up. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, you want to do some isolation? Get up there, get up there. Ice. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> This vlog's just gonna be me failing. <laughs> 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 no one told you to do that. I mean, you knew what was gonna happen. I thought I'd get one. I thought I'd get one. Though. You thought you were gonna get one pull up after that workout. Yeah, I guess we did just do some shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna pop it. Uh, that's yours right there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to go again. <laughs> I got some meal. So basically, Houston, it's taken a while to recover. The last couple of weeks has been really crazy and I haven't had time to cook. So Christmas at JC's, this is one of the guys that cooked at Christmas and he does meal prep and I found out he prints the macros on the shit and I already know he cooks like a fucking madman and all this shit is gonna be fire as fuck and I'm not gonna have to cook any of it. So I ordered a bunch of meals for this week and uh, these are gonna be so so good. I'm like super excited just to eat teriyaki chicken, blackened salmon, grilled chicken Caesar salad. I'm eating one of those like right now. Fucking starving. Blackened chicken, lemon pepper, Rick Ross, herb roasted salmon, chicken sausage peppers, Chili 
chicken lettuce wraps, roasted barbecue chicken with yams. Dog, we're just eating barbecue turkey meatballs, spicy chicken tenders with green beans, and forbidden black rice. I can't even show it to you. Is that forbidden? <laughs> Actually, someone sent it. Stephen from Houston sent oh, it. Oh, that's amazing. Stephen HTX. Yep. Thanks, no mercy. Homie. Those legs today. Since you want to call the times, it's 7 a.m. We're I in here. I wear this as a cape. Yeah. Right? The weakest link is in here calling the shots. That's how we're doing it. Yo, because these things can drag out. They like, don't drag out. Focus. It takes us like 45 minutes. I love it. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm glad it. that we're up at 7 a.m. with no food in our system. Just fucking just ready to go. I can start bringing breakfast. Yeah. What about the hour and a half you need to digest the food before you fucking lift the weights? What are we going to do about that? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. I don't know. Yeah, you're going to regret it today. I can't even hold the camera. Hold on. Teddy. Teddy's violent this morning. Dragon energy. Jay, set it off. Energy. Because he doesn't like salt on his steak. Listen, if you do or don't like salt on your steak, comment below. A lot of context. Don't listen to his fucking. He's lightheaded. What is his angle? I, I had to put it down. Because his noodle arms can hold it yeah. up. She's like this. This guy. <laughs> He's going to dinner on his own. Yeah. Can't pick his workout time. Can't dress himself. Fucking, <laughs> what else we got, man? Coming with a fresh yeah, fit doesn't today. Doesn't eat breakfast. We were now in the place where years ago, I told him, you're going to burn off all your muscle. We were in the witness of it. I lost it. <laughs> 7 a.m. This is lightweight. Seriously. Or not going to have you today, you Thank God. <laughs> Jay's on his day off. 90 days here. 91 days 91 today. 91 days, baby. Day off. Uncrustables on the counter. Uh, Never had them. We also got this new air fryer. And my Don't boy, improve, baby. my boy Mendroza put me on to the air fried Uncrustable. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what it's all about. It's coming up. Taste testing. Getting ready for the podcast. Is so it? We also got chocolate, but we're not trying those right now. No, we are not. PB and J. And J. And J. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> this is
It's been a crazy week. Uh, it's always a crazy week. I pretty much always say that, but this week has been a lot of work. You know, the drops and things of that nature. Crushed meals. I have like one, two, I got like six or seven meals left. Them shits are slamming. We got the new air fryer, which has been getting put to work. Love that thing. It is called, I don't remember, the Breville something something, but there's a bunch. It's the air fryer. I don't fucking know. It's the air fryer. It was expensive. I know that. A whole new project. I, obviously, we talked about NFTs. I've really kind of turned off by the NFT hype that has happened. Just like everyone running to it. Since I talked about NFTs last time, it's gone completely nuts. Like everyone, Gary V, pretty much everyone in the world, any influencer is NFTing. Like they, uh, people are making tokens out of tweets. It's just getting really, really silly, which is not exactly what turned me on to it in the first place. I still really believe in NFTs and I still really believe in the crypto art space. But um, the more that I exist and watch learn the more i realize it's just a tool that you can use and it will be really cool to do like i'm really still excited to release nfts but i'm not in this enormous rush to uh create something specifically for an nft space you know at first i thought i needed to create these digital art artworks that i'm not familiar with which is not what i need to do it kind of became overwhelming for a couple of weeks i really thought about what i wanted to do i kept racking my brain and then what i really just came back down to was like man i just don't i don't make enough stuff the payoff isn't what's driving me. What's driving me is the creation. What's driving me is getting all this shit done before I die. But what this has actually led me to do is to create more non-digital art. This entire week has been painting dragons. As a project, like the newest project that I want to complete, 108 dragons. And I want to do 108. It's a significant number. It's a sacred number. Uh, in Hinduism, Buddhism, it's yoga. It's, I mean, there's a lot of mythology and just stuff, you know, around it. There's 108 heroes and demons and 108 poses, 108 salutations, 108 human desires, 108 lies that humans tell us. My idea is to 108 dragons. Am I the first one to do this? Absolutely not. There's been plenty of people who've done it, but I haven't done it. Another trap of the world is you see everybody else doing stuff and you're like, oh, well, other people are already doing it. I can't. Well, bitch, you didn't do it. And I haven't done it. I haven't painted 108 big ass dragons. And did you, like you think about this type of art, like, oh, I'm gonna have a gallery show versus NFT art where people are literally building online galleries for your VR self to go into and experience. Like you can even walk into the painting essentially, like it's a place. These are two contrasting things and I don't know where they'll lead, but I do know I'm driven to create. All of this happening has made me realize the same thing I've been repeating on this vlog and in person forever is I want to make more stuff. So I'm tattooing here until the end of March. I might go to Chicago in April. I'm looking at Chicago. Places I'm looking at, Chicago, Detroit, San Francisco, Atlanta, maybe North Carolina. Yeah, other than that, watching movies. Judas and the Black Messiah, great movie. It's the only real good movie I saw. There's a good art documentary about fake art on Netflix. I watched that, it was good. I don't remember the name of it. Made you look. Um, <laughs> funny. Coming to America part two, coming to America. Horrible piece of trash movie. Can't believe it got made. If you like it, I'm sorry for your taste level. I don't know what else there is. We're just gonna keep it up. More food, more working out. No bike rides this week because it's just been fucking awful weather. We got the worst weather right now. Soon enough, we'll be back on the 4 a.m. bike ride because it's gonna be hot. We, we're going to Meow Wolf next week. There's a new Meow Wolf that opened up here. Watch the vlog. There was a Meow Wolf in New Mexico. We went to a couple of times. A new one here and we're going there next week. So that should be pretty cool. Other than that, man, just making art. Hope you're out there doing what it is that makes you happy. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.